Magarini Subcounty has 100 schools, 24 of them have a feeding program. In a constituency that is grappling with poverty, education is affected as many children stay at home because of hunger, coupled with shortage of water and trekking long distances to and from school. So some of the schools which were feeding also, uh, they stopped supporting them. So you find that there are few schools which are getting support from the government. Faced with persistent food shortage and unpredictable weather patterns, farmers have had to learn new ways to do farming. And a good example is that of Emmanuel Karisabaya. Emmanuel Karisabaya lost his parents at an early age. He had to fend for himself amidst the hardships surrounding him. Doing manual jobs in the farms taught him a lot about organic farming. I was around five, four. He is an accountant by profession, but he quit his office job to do farming. It is then that he came face to face with the plights of the children in the villages. He decided to set up Magarini Children's Center and Organic Farming Demonstration Farm. We found it was, there is need for these children to come together so that they can get the formal education. At the moment, there are 150 children who come daily to the center to learn and eat. At the center, children get formal education as well as learn sustainable ways of growing food and caring for each other. These kids um, uh, from 10 years, to 13 to 14 years. Apart from um, uh, getting formal education, as they know, they know that their food that they eat is from the soil. As they know that it's of the soil, they have to take care of the soil. In this way, we build the, a community of which they're going to be careful, living in peace with nature, living in peace with each other, and how to grow their own food. This will bring self-reliance. The project has also brought together the community to teach and learn organic farming, soil improvement and reforestation, as well as fulfill the project's objective, which is to take care of the children. Karisa runs the center with just the proceeds he gets from the farm and volunteer teachers. They are yet to get a donor of any kind. We are not yet um, uh, uh, having that... Uh, Fans having that uh, support. Changamoto ni nyingi. Kwa pano hata mara nyingi pale sisi tukio walimu hata mara nyingi tunakosa hata kama ni vitabu. Though faced with many challenges, they forge forward knowing there is a better tomorrow. Their existence through agriculture makes me realize agriculture not only gives riches to a nation, but the only riches she can call her own. Marete Selvin, GBS News.